Hello, colleagues and friends, and nice to have you here. Uh, my name is Dmitry Butalov. I'm head of attack practice at Data and have worked in attack for 15 years. Uh, in 2008, I started my first education technology related project. Uh, it <laughs> sounds a bit wild today, uh, but it was a Sony PlayStation mini game uh, called Test Yourself. Uh, and it officially became third best selling in the game on the Sony PlayStation Network in 2011. And you know what? Uh, where I was, no eye inside. Uh, it had to imagine today. Uh, many changes uh, in technology landscape have uh, have happened since those days. Uh, and now uh, I want to speak with you about the future of, of tech and uh, how AI reshaped it. Uh, this is our ag agenda for today. Uh, I will do my best to focus you on the one not obvious trend which is dangerous for classic uh, mature tech companies. Uh, I will reveal this trend later, uh, along with the idea on tackling it. Uh, but now, uh, let's keep some intrigue. Um, we also uh, will touch on the tech business side uh, and discuss uh, what this trend uh, means for it. Uh, I have prepared for you some practical advice. Uh, what to do with AI, uh, particularly uh, large language models, and uh, what the roadmap of this integration could uh, look like. Uh, as you see, uh, for those uh, who will listen to the end, uh, a bonus is prepared. You may wonder uh, why I named my presentation ChatGPT free version. Uh, any ideas? The thing is, uh, ChatGPT, at the first glance, uh, is uh, mm, can do anything. For instance, it looks like the best technology to get great analytics fast. Uh, just type. What are the main trends in the tech technologies? And you'll have a list. Uh, depending on, on particular prompt, it will contain of. 10 or 12 uh, bullet points uh, with summaries, and you got it in seconds. Fantastic. Uh, brilliant. Uh, but actually, you can only use it for school presentation or maybe somewhere in marketing, uh, but not for serious business decision. Uh, take a look at this slide. Uh, those three technologies are usually named trending but by chat GPT. But what's wrong with it? Or maybe better question, what is common uh, for all three? Uh, my answer, it's obvious, well-known information. Is it actual? Uh, yeah. Uh, AI, microlearning, gamification, virtual reality, etc. are must-have technologies. And it's actual not for this year, but for decades. Uh, for instance, the first attack uh, project with a generative AI uh, I was involved in uh, started in 2009. It was, uh, guess what, uh, of course, English teacher. And it looks like uh, pretty much it, uh, as a chat GPT, uh, but it fails. Uh, as I understand today, the core idea behind uh, was right. It was literally a generative language uh, model. It works. Uh, but the available hardware capacity and the technology level were, uh, were too low uh, in those days. But thanks to this experience, I noticed the effect how people perceive AI. Uh, if they feel even small sides of something uh, sensible or intelligent, they start to attribute some sense to artifacts they have got from it. Uh, it looks like we are humans uh, somewhere inside. Uh, love the idea of delegating those bar decision making. <laughs> we don't like it actually. We want to have an oracle above us. Um, recently, I 
read a brilliant, uh, absolutely brilliant article about research on uh, chat GPT impact on people's productivity. Uh, it was a, a scientific uh, large scale study. Uh, in short, the finding is that the productivity rises if we use chat GPT uh, for radiation. So it means for generation logically set and uh, consistent text message. And our productivity is dramatically reduced if we try to apply it for problem solving. Uh, so we should remember LLM, large language model, is not an oracle, it's a tool. Uh, it can't replace humans, or at least uh, now it can, re and can, it can do it, uh, but it can greatly help. Uh, in the article I mentioned above, uh, researchers uh, claim 40% productivity growth. It's a lot, and we can deny such an opportunity. Uh, again, uh, AI is must-have now. Uh, the question is, which approaches of using AI or machine learning matter today? And before I reveal my insight, <laughs> ChatGPT free insight, uh, let me tell you a short story. Uh, recently, uh, I wrote a business email and made uh, no grammar mistake. Uh, it was a pleasant shock. Uh, English grammar is my pain point, and I usually double check uh, my emails for grammar. Take time and uncomfortable, actually. Uh, so I was surprised. I realized uh, my grammar had improved, but I didn't take grammar courses. I only use Grammarly. Uh, I believe you have heard about this service or similar uh, to check my emails and documents. And I've got this effect, improve, I literally improve my grammar, uh, which usually we expect from learning, but without literally learning. It's cool, right? So the thread I want you to notice is a copilot. You have heard about it, but not in in the tech context. Uh, and you know what? Uh, ChatGPT never gives you this insight uh, as an ad tech trend. Do you remember AI can't help with problem solving and can generate breakthrough ideas? Uh, in a nutshell, uh, copilot is an AI is AI system that help uh, users to do their job. Uh, the trend uh, became sound when Microsoft embedded such technology in GitHub uh, to assist developers to in writing code. Uh, nobody today uh, classifies it as an a tech trend, and this is a point. In my opinion, GitHub uh, GitHub Copilot actually and uh, Grammarly are working sites. Uh, tomorrow, all productivity services will have a copilot on board, uh, starting from CRM, which, for example, uh, can help you to write, say, the more engaging emails, uh, to even Google Calendar, which will help you to <laughs> achieve your uh, work-life balance. Uh, Messengers and emails help you with communication, team building, and management skills, and so on. You will improve yourself, not in separate learning time slots. And uh, everybody knows it became harder and harder today to find time for classroom, even online. Uh, but permanently uh, in your workday flow. Uh, one thing uh, I want to emphasize regarding Copilot. Uh, and this is a fantastic life hack for AI visionaries. This approach helps to bypass the limitation of LLM technologies. You have heard about uh, hallucinations and bias uh, when a bot generates something not aligned uh, or irrelevant to prompt or context. 
sometimes it it it, it do it uh, something like a six finger uh, if you try to use AI to generate the final product uh, for we, for example an online course uh, you will probably face this problem but copilot interact with the user in a different way uh, it proposes the next part of code or grammar correction or whatever uh, but the user must choose the final configuration step by step so the copilot uh, is not an oracle but a partner and uh, by this approach a massive part of these technology limitations are removed uh, partners can make mistakes sometimes. It's just expected from a human point of view. So I strongly believe tomorrow copilots will be embedded everywhere. And for tech businesses, this means disruption. The threat to a tech is enormous. Uh, if productivity services uh, improve my skills and without additional learning, uh, why should I or my employer pay for educational services. It sounds like uh, education is losing a big part of the cake, right? And trust me, uh, very soon researchers will appear. They will write a ton of articles about this effect. They call it permanent upskilling or embedded learning or copilot effect or whatever, uh, and post it with a well-calculated proving. So what to do if you run a tech project? To fight or to give up? My advice is to lead the trend you can change. Uh, start building a copilot today. Learn how it works, enhance it, and become a top expert. Uh, you know, don't be afraid of changing technologies, including AI revolution. AI has not replaced humans. Uh, but replaced those humans who are not willing to accept a change and who do not adapt it. <laughs> Maybe I'm so optimistic because I'm too old. Uh, I saw uh, with my eyes uh, the one of the very first waves of digital transformation uh, come to enterprise segment. Uh, I practiced organization development consultant those days. Um, the case study I'm talking about was the transfer of big factory accounting from paper to the first digital system. Uh, accounting department uh, split in two parts, very fast split. Uh, one part of the accountants uh, declined a change, decided they could not work on the computer too hard and could not learn these new skills. Uh, they were used to keep book on paper. They work this way all this life. We can understand it. Okay. They give up. Uh, the second part decided to upskill. Uh, you can e easily guess uh, that those who give up uh, were fired very soon. Uh, not surprised. And those who upskill keep their work. But the salt here is in our details. Uh, firstly, uh, the decision had minimal correlation with demographic factors such as age or education. Uh, some young accountants decide to leave, not accept the change, and some old ones decided to try to work in a new way and prosper. Uh, and uh, what do you think about number of accountants after installation uh, new IT system in this uh, factory? Surprisingly, the department staff increased in a very short time after the changes. Uh, di digitalization uh, appears to bring more work because it provides much more data to analyze. Uh, but let's back to Copilot. Uh, disruption from the productivity side is scary, but you, educational professionals, have an advantage too. Uh, it's called instructional, instructional design. Uh, you know how to teach people and how to create content for, for this. Uh, it would be best if you reshaped it 
combined with the enormous power of AI. Uh, and uh, in our words, apply instructional design to build educational co-pilot platform. Let's imagine what it could look like. Uh, let's assume you run an online math school. Uh, typically, there are three main roles in education project. It's, of course, a student, uh, instructional designer who create content, and tutor who conduct lessons and support the learning process with homework review. Uh, you haven't chosen uh, which role need to be supported by AI. All three need. Uh, create for your students a stream of practical classes with a copilot. Uh, for instance, they may prove a set of th theorems. Uh, for instructional designers, you should embed a copilot inside your offering tool. And I can say you, say you only confidentially, uh, they already use it. They already use most probably ChatGPT and Midjourney uh, for content creation. And actually, it's not safe, it's not secure. Your intellectual property, your data gets into third-party databases. So equip them with your AI-powered tools. Uh, and please ease the burden of tutors and help them with copilot for homework checking and grading. Uh, they will really thank you. Uh, look at the slide. Here is a high-level roadmap sketch for this project. Step one. Start by, play, uh, by planning your platform architecture and roadmap. Uh, at DataArt, we call it solution design, and actually it's uh, it worth doing. Usually it helps to save up to 30% of development cost, and probably more important, it makes results predictable. Uh, step two, build copilot for instructional designers. We already use AI-powered, AI-based uh, tools, so they look like ideal early adopters. They definitely will use it. Uh, step three, a build tool for tutors. Uh, they feel pain whenever they open next homework. Uh, there is no fun to <laughs> this work, actually. So they will be happy to semi-automate this part of work. Uh, Students are usually your most important users. That's why uh, that, that's why I put it on this place. They pay for your service. Uh, that's why build this part of the solution later when you have enough experience. Use all insights uh, you got from previous phases. And finally, step five. Uh, now all your data streams are covered by AI powered solution and you and if you have uh, done your solution design phase properly uh, you will have a lot of insightful data start using it to improve all processes continuously and your business will shine and it's time for bonus I promised in the very beginning of my speech uh, my piece of advice to everyone who run a tech project right now. Time when motto content is a king is very close to finish. AI is killing the skin. Content generation has become lighter than never. On the other hand, AI, Copilot for instance, give us unbelievable access to data. Uh, helping to do my job, my Copilot can understand or better say, screen me profoundly and in detail. It can note all my mistakes and all my ideas, my style of work, which advice I take and which not, and many, many more things. Uh, taking its helps, I give it the keys to my brain. Uh, using this information, uh, we can understand a student motivation as clearly as ever. And uh, it allows us to build and use Copilot in Copilot, next level gamification. Uh, the last story for today. 
one of my sons started to learn swimming. He came to the group with a trainer, but unfortunately, the trainer appears to be unprofessional. Uh, he can't explain swimming techniques, techniques uh, to children, but grills them if they do something wrong. Uh, but my son was motivated. He wanted to swim fast and in the right way. Guess what he has done? Finally, he learned to swim technique himself using YouTube videos and trainer proof. He finally he swim right. Nobody can stop motivated student uh, from learning. Motivation is a key. So don't forget to include gamification expert in your solution design team. So colleagues, thank you very much for your attention. Uh, stay tuned, add me on LinkedIn by, by this QR code. Uh, I would happy to connect and share more with you about non-obvious tech trends and more about the tech and uh, start to build your co-pilot today.